dear students today we'll discuss about the important diseases of coconut and their management coconut is the most versatile among the world's 2700 species of palms it provides edible and industrial oils protein rich milk invigorating water timber fiber roofing and matting materials and a number of products from cell due to versatile uses and affinity to indian culture coconut is rightly called as tree of heaven or kalpa vriksha a number of diseases hindered its production and among them the most important are described here first one is the bud rot it is caused by phytophthora palmi vora this is the worst disease of coconut and found in many parts of india it was first reported in madras now chennai in 1906 by butler it also occurs in brazil british guinea ceylon fiji island jamaica mauritius mexico nigeria philippines trinidad and west indies now coming to the symptoms of the disease bud rot affects the palms at early stages of growth the first external symptom is discoloration of the hard leaf which becomes yellowish green the basal tissues of the leaf rot quickly and can be easily separated from the crown within a few days the infection spreads to older leaves causing sunken leaf spot which cover the entire leaf blade spreading both up and down the spot margins are irregular and water soaked and when the leaves are unfolded the characteristic irregular spots are visible on the blade in severe affected trees the entire crown rots and in a few months the trees wilt the development of young nuts ceases but older ones may mature so this is about the symptom of the disease now coming to the epidemiology of the disease palms between 14 and 40 years old are most susceptible disease occurs in all coconut growing region high rainfall short periods of high humidity followed by low temperature that is 18 to 20 degree centigrade and free moisture are conducive for development of the disease next coming to the management of the disease irrigate trees early in the day to allow surfaces to dry off during the day cut and burn severely affected palms which cannot be saved remove all affected tissues of the crown and apply bodu paste on cut end and provide a protective covering till normal shoot emerges spray 1% bodu mixture on the crown of the neighboring palms as a prophylactic measure spray with 1% bodu mixture during may and september if the disease occurs frequently next is the stem bleeding causal organism of the disease is chalara paradoxa now coming to the symptoms of the d 
disease. The diagnostic symptom is the conspicuous black stain coming from a hole or wound and seeping down the coconut stem. At first, there is a soft, slowly expanding stem decay that blackens with age. Darkly pigmented liquid bleeds down the trunk from the point of infection, covering the stem surface with a black layer of fluids. A cavity may develop beneath the affected area. Over the years, the fungal invasion of the interior stem can rot the stem entirely, causing plant decline and death. Basal stem invasion may occur in wet areas, producing a black color of diseased stem tissue at the plant soil interface. Roots may be blackened and decayed. Exudation of reddish brown liquid through cracks from the stem, decaying of tissues at bleeding point, decline in vigor and yield, and later develop big holes inside the trunk. Next is the epidemiology of the disease. The disease is most common where wounds occur to palm stems in highly irrigated or moist landscapes. Wounds exposed to chalara infested soil are prone to infection, especially where nozzle irrigation impacts the wound. Infection can start from chalara spores or mycelium that survives on decaying plant litter. Growth cracks on the coconut trunk, severe downpours, water stagnation, imbalanced nutrition, excess salinity, and plant stress act as predisposing and aggravating factors. So, this is about the epidemiology of the disease. Next is the management of the disease. Avoid any mechanical injury to the stem. Provide adequate irrigation during summer and drainage during rainy season. To avoid spread of disease on the upper portion of trunk, Root feeding with 5% calyxin may be adopted three times a year. That is April, May, September, October, and January, February. Along with 50 kg organic manure, apply 5 kg neem cake containing the antagonistic fungi trichoderma culture to the basin during September. Apply recommended doses of organic manures and chemical fertilizers. Coconut stem boring insects like Gyloborus, Dioclandra should be controlled by applying Carbaryl 50% WP on the trunk at the rate 3 gram per liter water. Avoid replanting in the same spot. Consider treating or replacing infested soil. Next is the root will disease. Causal organism of the disease is Rhizoctonia solani, Rhizoctonia batarticola. Now coming to the symptoms of the disease. Symptoms are first visible on the leaves of the middle folds 
as a general wilting and extends to outer holes of the leaves. The leaflets are bent abnormally and this is called ribbing of leaflets or flaccidity, a typical characteristic of the disease. Gradually these leaves turn yellow and exhibit marginal necrosis. Affected young palms exhibit only the flaccidity of leaflets for a long time. In older palms, flaccidity is followed immediately by foliar yellowing and necrosis. The newly formed leaves are small in size. As the disease advances, the whole crown gets smaller in size due to reduction in size and number of leaves and finally become highly unproductive. Next is the epidemiology of the disease. The disease spreads faster in sandy and sandy loam than in the laterite soils. Young palms in pre and early bearing stages are more susceptible. Waterlogging and acidic pH aggravated root rot. Next is the management of the disease. Apply balanced dose of chemical fertilizers that is 500 gram nitrogen, 300 gram phosphorus, 1000 gram potassium in two splits. That is one third during April May and two third during September October under rain fed condition and in four splits during January, April, July and October under irrigated condition. In addition to this, 500 gram magnesium oxide also has to be applied along with second dose of fertilizer application. Apply organic manure at the rate 50 kg per palm per year. Cut and remove uneconomical palms which may yield less than 10 nuts per palm per year. Green manure crops like cowpea, sunhemp, mimosa, etc. may be sown in coconut basins during April May and incorporated during September October. Irrigate coconut palms with at least 250 liter water in a week. Adopt suitable inter or mixed cropping in coconut gardens. Provide adequate drainage facilities. Next is the leaf rot disease. Causal organisms associated with the diseases are Helminthosporium halodis. Polytrotychum, Pausicetum, Glyocladium roseum, Pestalocia palmarum. Next is the symptoms of the disease. The symptoms appear occasionally on different parts of leaflets of young tender leaves. The spindles remain white and soft for a relatively longer period. The tips of rotten leaflets of the spindle stick together even while the base of the leaflets is open. Next is the epidemiology of the disease. Severe incidence of the disease is observed in monsoons when high atmospheric humidity and low temperatures prevail. Fungal spore population 
in the atmosphere is high during monsoons. Free moisture or wetness and dew and compactness of spindle foliage are also found to influence the disease incidence. Next is the management of the disease. Improve general condition of the palms through proper manuring and management. Remove the decay portions of spindle leaf and upmost two leaves only. Pour fungicide solution of hexaconazol, adderate 2 ml or mancozeb 3 gram in 300 ml water per palm to the base of spindle leaf. Apply 20 gram for it 10 G mixed with 200 gram fine sand around the base of spindle leaf. Resistant varieties such as New Guinea, Sam Ramon, Guam and Kenya can be used for planting. Next is the Thanjavur wilt. It is caused by Association of Gyloborus species. Next is the symptoms of the disease. Decay of finer nuts, withering, yellowing, drooping and drying of outer holes of leaves and exudation of reddish brown fluid at the base of the trunk. Spindle leaf remain as dry for longer period where other leaves drop down. Next is the epidemiology of the disease. Disease favors by sandy soil, lack of moisture and it is prevalent in most 10 to 30 years old trees. Now let us see about the management of the disease. Practice growing banana as an intercrop in coconut plantings. Root feeding with calyxin, adderate 2 ml in 100 ml water once in 3 months. Drench the basin with 25 liter of Calyxin at rate 0.1 percent. Apply neem cake containing trichoderma at the rate 5 kg per palm per year. Apply recommended dose of organic manures. Avoid flood irrigation and follow drip irrigation. Practice clean cultivation and burn of diseased plant paste. Isolate infected palms by taking trenches of 1 meter depth and 0.5 meter width around the palm at 1.5 meter away from it. Next important disease is Kadang Kadang disease of coconut. Causal organism is coconut Kadang Kadang viroids. Next is the symptoms of the disease. Palms infected with Kadang Kadang pass through a well defined series of changes culminating to that. For convenience, diseased palms in the field are classified as being early, medium or late stage. In the early stage, newly developing nuts become more rounded and have equatorial scarifications. Chlorotic leaf spots begin to appear and inflorescence become stunted. 
Next is the mode of transmission of the disease. The mode of natural inoculation in the field is not known. No insect vectors has been found. Positive transmission was obtained through assisted pollination of mother palms with pollen from diseased palms. A small percentage of the progenies produced as well as seed nuts collected from kadang kadang infected palms were positive for coconut kadang kadang virus. Next is the management of the disease. Under this use of quarantine, strict enforcement of quarantine regulation by concerned government agencies on the safe movement of coconut germplasm from infected areas will prevent further spread of kadang kadang into disease free areas. Now is the conclusion of the topic. Coconut is one of the important trees where all its parts are important. There are several pests and diseases that hamper its production. Important fungus diseases that cause losses in coconut productions are bud rot, stem bleeding, root wilt, leaf rot, tanjavur wilt, kadang kadang, and red ring nematode. Management of these diseases depends on proper diagnosis of the diseases, understanding the source of infection, time of disease appearance, survival, and other epidemiological factors.